Right in front of me, I have the ASUS ROG Strix G16 in two specific models. One is rocking an AMD CPU, the 9955HX 3D, and the other is rocking the Intel Core Ultra 9 275HX. Everything else is identical, including the GPU, the amount of RAM, and even the storage size. But the AMD model is actually $100 more. Now, from a design standpoint, they kind of look alike, but they're also a bit different. The right one over here that I'm touching is the AMD version. They both have the logo at the top left. They both have lines. This one has wording in it. This is more of just a slash that you've seen on other products, but the back hinge is different. I think with the ASUS model, the AMD model rather, they're using an older chassis. This Intel one seems to be an updated version because the port lineup, which I'll show you in a second, is a bit different. Now, on the back, you have a little bit of branding, but the AMD model is actually a tiny bit lighter at 5.51 pounds compared to about 5.84. Now, most of the laptop is made out of plastic. The top lid is metal, so you do have a little bit of premium in there. Now, the ports are kind of identical, but they're kind of not. For one, okay, the ports on the AMD model have been pushed up to the front. As you can see here, they're using the older barrel connector. Beside it, you have an RJ45 port, HDMI 2.1, two USB 4.0 ports, and then you have your combo audio jack. On the Intel version, you get the newer proprietary connector. Both of these laptops are using 280 watt power bricks. Again, you get that RJ45, HDMI, but instead of USB 4.0, you get two Thunderbolt 5 ports and an extra USB-A. On the other side, it's kind of the same story. You have two USB-A ports to play with. The Intel version is the ports are on the back, whereas the AMD version, they have it closer to the front. The other little difference is actually on the bottom of the laptop. The light bar on the AMD version is in the front. So that's all the RGB glow you're gonna get from this guy. The Intel version, the RGB bar wraps around the entire laptop. So you'll have a lot more color spilling on your desk. Now with the AMD version and the Intel version, both displays kind of go back the same. So there's not gonna be a difference there. In terms of hinge, how it feels when it's open up, I don't know, like they feel pretty equal. Maybe a little bit looser on the AMD version, but it could just be this specific unit because the hinge mechanism looks to be identical on both. The other little difference is actually in the bar over here. You actually have lighting that you can look at when the hard drive is flashing or to see if it's powered on. With the Intel version, there is no lights. The only thing you get is a little light beside the power connector to let you know it's charging. The other big difference is the touchpad. Look at the size difference between these two touchpads. The Intel model has a significantly bigger touchpad to work with but they both feel great. Like they are glass. They both have that num lock capability, which brings up a numpad so that you can obviously type numbers faster. Obviously this is not a true numpad. It's not gonna feel as good as a proper physical numpad, but at least it's a little hack to get one for you. The design differences on the deck of the keyboard are different. The Intel model is going with a slightly cleaner look. All you have is some ROG Strix branding up here. Whereas the AMD version, you have Strix branding going right across the top. Either way, they look pretty similar, but the sticker placement on both of these laptops are terrible. Like look how crooked the Intel version is and look how crooked the AMD version is. Like, come on sticker guy, you gotta wake up, man. These companies are paying you. I know you're the only guy putting stickers on laptops, but you chose this career, not me. As for the keyboard, they are the same. Like you type on these things, you're gonna have a very similar experience. So you have two millimeters of travel distance. There's a good amount of click. The keyboard deck is a little soft, but not too soft compared to other laptops on the market. You do have your macro keys at the top, your play and pause keys on the right, and of course, a power button. The other area where there's a difference is biometrics. With the Intel version, you get Windows Hello facial recognition to quickly log you on. You have the extra IR camera at the top. With the AMD version, there's absolutely nothing. No fingerprint scanner, no facial recognition, just typing in your password. But the one area where they are the same is the display. Like they're both rocking IPS level displays. They're 16 by 10, 240 Hertz, three millisecond response time. So not as fast as the ROG Zephyrus, which has that OLED display, but you have the exact same color gamut, which is good, same color accuracy and the same screen brightness. All right, so this is the webcam on the G16. They're both using 1080p webcams. Uh, they should look the same, but you guys let me know how they look. And of course, how do the 
microphone sound. Now one area that I do appreciate about these laptops is the performance. Like you would think with this new AMD 9955HX3D CPU, it would just mop the floor with this Intel version, but that's not the case. Very different this year. A few years ago, it absolutely would, but this year they're almost even. And, and look, you take single core clock speeds slightly faster on the AMD model. Multi-core speeds are actually faster on the Intel version. Not by a lot, but it's still there. Like it's still being reported. But depending on the applications you're using, it kind of swings one way or the other. Like if you're a heavy Photoshop user, AMD does a much better job. But if you're constantly editing videos in Premiere Pro, the Intel option is faster. Mozilla Firefox compile tests were also pretty equal between both of these laptops. But the one area that the AMD version was noticeably faster was in speedometer. And this is based on modern web applications loading up your browser. In fact, it was very close to the MacBook Pro 16. Now let's shift over to the GPU for one second. If you're using Blender, these laptops are pretty much identical in terms of performance, but I will say it's kind of nice having 140 watts powering that RTX 5070 Ti because you will see a difference compared to something like the Zephyrus G16, which is not running at 140 watts. That extra 30 watts makes a difference in every application I tested because that 5070 Ti can actually take advantage of it. And every game I tested on these laptops at QHD Plus were fairly equal. Like I didn't see that much of a difference going from Intel to AMD. Now you would think at 1920 by 1200 where it's a little bit more CPU focused that the AMD would push ahead and it did in a couple of games, but it really wasn't that drastic. Like it wasn't enough to be like, okay, you know what? Maybe you should go for the AMD version instead. But the one area where the Intel performed better was heat management. Like this thing was hovering around 85 to 86 degrees Celsius under full load, whereas the AMD model would sometimes push closer to 90. And you can see this in my average core clock speeds. Right across the board, the Intel is just flat. Like it's just maintaining its performance perfectly. In terms of fan noise, they're both fairly equal. Like under performance mode, you're gonna get around 50-ish decibels, whereas the turbo mode, you're gonna get a higher, more consistent 55. Another advantage to the Intel model is how easy it is to access the internals. All you gotta do is slide this over, push this down, and take it off. That's it, you're in. You can upgrade the SSDs and the RAM. With the AMD version, you have to remove 11 screws, and then you can finally take it off. Now, there is a little bit of a difference here, okay? You do have uh, triple fans on both, which is great. You have two slots for your drive. I actually got faster read and write speeds on the AMD version compared to the Intel one. I don't know why, but this drive tends to be a little bit faster. But they both have a second slot over here in case you want to add one in for a second drive. Now, you do have a swappable Wi-Fi card on this guy. I'm pretty sure you do here too, but you probably need to remove this portion of the laptop. You have a big 90 watt hour battery on both, but I got much better battery life on the Intel version, like nine hours of use before needing to charge compared to uh, just under five. And I think the reason being is because you actually have efficiency cores on the Intel version where you don't on the AMD one. So look, which one should you go for? Well, I think the answer is very simple. You go for the Intel version. It's $100 cheaper and you get a lot more features. You get the Thunderbolt 5 ports, you get the extra USB-A, you get a panel on the bottom that easily lets you access the internals. You get a bigger touchpad, you get better battery life, and the thermals on this one happen to be better than the one on the AMD. Maybe three, four months down the road, if the AMD version significantly drops the price, then we can have a discussion right there. But today, if you're looking at these two, definitely go for Intel. If you're interested in picking any of them up, I'll place links in the description down below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.